Afternoon. Oh, excuse me, I'm looking for Hugh Gates Girl House. Hugh Gates Girl House, anyone? You're a starter for ten? <laughs> oh, it's a theme pub, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, very convincing. If anybody talks to you, you just grin and nod and doff your hat. Because I was struck dumb with shock when an incendiary device burnt my house down. Right. OK. Let's go. Penny for the guy. Guy Fawkes night was yesterday. His fireworks will be cheap today, won't they? Market forces, see? There you go, then. This ain't a real penny. This is where I'm going. <laughs> Try to think blitz. Wrong. Wrong? Excuse me. Hello. Did you see a tall fur haired guy come down that alley just now, dressed like me? No. Hold this, will you? I'll give him sudden time more. At last you're admitting that something's wrong. Lots of couples have their ups and downs and we both know that. And both of us together feel ultimately that... Ultimately, together, we both... Gary, I need some help here. I can't do this by myself. Yvonne, maybe if I just talk to you and Gary can chip in if he feels like it. Now, Gary's recently lost his job. That's right. And you consider him a failure. No, he considers himself a failure. You don't consider him a failure. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not as much as he considers himself a failure. Well, excuse me. You wanted to say something, Gary? No. Can I just sit here like a well-behaved ritual sacrifice? Gary, I'm only trying to get at the truth. I'm right, aren't I, Jenny? You see, Jenny thinks I'm right. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe if I talk to Yvonne and I can get round to you later. Mmm, can hardly wait. Fingers crossed for that one, Jenny. Yvonne, this is difficult. I mean, we've known each other for a long time. Would you think it unethical, out of bounds, if I were to mention some of the things we were privy to when we met at college? No, of course not. As long as we get to the truth, I mean, that's what matters, isn't it? Of course. Trevor Harrison. I'm not talking about Trevor Harrison. <laughs> I'm just trying to follow a train of thought. I just thought, perhaps, and this is just a theory, Yvonne, I wonder if you might have a tendency to pick the wrong man for you, for your particular needs. I am not talking about Trevor Harrison. Hey, come on, Yvonne. <laughs> if all we're trying to do is get to the truth. I mean, that's why we're all here. Trevor Harrison. Leave it on the bridge. Be sure to weigh it down. You don't want it blowing into some passing garbage scow. Yeah. Everyone will assume I've just climbed into a bin bag and had myself taken away by the council. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. I guess it is. Keep an eye on Yvonne for me. 
Why don't you stop being a pillock, come home and keep an eye on her yourself? Come on, we've done this. I miss you. It's been a blast having a mate who's a time traveller. <laughs> it's tough to top that. I've got a bone to pick with you. Ah, oh, Mrs. Bloss, I'm glad you're up. When are you going to get somebody to put a new washer in my tap? It's like a Chinese water torture. Don't try it on with me. You know my rule about women in your room. Only one at a time, you mean? <laughs> I mean, no need for your lip. This is a fragrant act of immorality. Uh. And as for you, Mrs. Bamford, I heard everything you know. Those bed springs were twanging away like George Formby's ukulele. For God's sake, leave George Formby out of this. And you were burning both bars of your electric fire. Don't you want to win this war? Phoebe, you go on outside, I'll catch you up. Hmm. I've told you before about going into my room. It's my room, in my house, let to you under my terms, which do not include corrupting young married women when you should be at the front fighting. You're just taking advantage of me because I'm a woman on my own. Well, maybe we should ask why Mr Bloss can't stand to live with you. How dare you? My Cyril copped a packet in Flanders. We should have taken precautions then, shouldn't we? Everything changed. You know, I never told you, never told no one. But something very odd happened to me round here. It was back when I was odd jobby, plumbing mostly. I got a call out to a house round here. Couldn't find a place. Drove up and down for about half an hour, looked at the street map, you know. Finally, I asked this copper if he knew where it was. Yeah, he says, it's just down that alleyway. He won't get the van down there. You'll have to walk. What happened? Strangest thing. It still haunts me now when I think of it. What? I, I walked down the alley. It was a pub, I remember that. And I don't know, everything seemed different, looked different. But at first, I couldn't quite see how or why. I walked towards the address, and I thought, this isn't the 1960s. This is the 1860s. Right. Now, apparently there's a child trapped up there. Who said? I did. So get up there and rescue him. Pardon? Uh, you heard. <laughs> Look, it's time to be a hero, Albert. So just bite the bullet and get on with it. Now, Gary. I want to get this right. We don't want to make any mistakes here. You want me to enter a burning building and stumble about in the suffocating smoke looking for someone's kid. Forget it. Do you want to go back under lock and key? Yes, please. It's good of you to see me at such short notice, Doctor. That's quite all right. Just make yourself comfortable, Mr Sparrow. And in your own time, start to tell me what the problem is. Right. Um, well, I think the main problem are these dreams I keep having. Dreams? Yeah. Only I suspect they're a symptom rather than the cause of the problem. And do you have any idea what the cause may be? Well, I sp <laughs> I, um... I had this adventure recently, and uh, I think that's... <laughs> oh, my God, you want me, don't you? I'm on fire for you, Mr Sparrow. 
Why did you wake me up? Why did you wake me up? I wanted to put the kettle on, and when I came back, you were slumped in the chair sweating, so I thought you were having one of your nightmares. Well, of course I was sweating. I was about to be taken advantage of by a gorgeous therapist. But to sit down, close your eyes, and for God's sake, try and relax. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> so, where were we? I think I was doing this. Yep, oh. yep, that's exactly where we were. <laughs> Don't worry, girl. I'll be gentle with you. No! No sign of him yet. No, an hour and a half I've been waiting. We've missed the Eurostar. After all of his promises, and he doesn't give a toss about this bloody marriage. You're late! Oh, am I glad you said that. It means I've beaten him back here. Where's Yvonne? She's upstairs, and I'm warning you, she is on the verge of storming out. Excellent. What? I've got to get rid of her before he gets here. Before who gets here? Well, you better have a bloody good excuse for standing me up. Um, guest masks. What? I had a delivery. I had to sort them out. You ruined our trip to Paris for a lot of smelly old rubber! A trip to... Um, yeah, yeah. You must hate me. I know I would. Just get out of my way. What are you doing? I had to get rid of her. Look, you've got to help me. I've got a double. A duplicate. There's two of me wrong. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Strangely, no! It's true, I have been cloned! But you've lost it, mate! It's all this flipping between time zones. Housemaids do the knees, tennis players their elbows. You've got time travellers not! <laughs> and I've caught it! <laughs> this is because I saved Atley. That's why I was sent back here in 93. And now I've fulfilled my destiny. So the time portal is closed. And I'm never going to see Yvonne, or Ron, or Baywatch ever again. <laughs> this is a pleasant surprise. Not for me. I want the truth. Where is Gary? I don't know. That is the truth. Liar. You must know. He always confides in you. He's been gone three days now and not a peep out of him. He has got another woman, hasn't he? Yvonne? You, you're barging here while, while I'm unwinding with... A life in the day of Julia Roberts. Get up. Shower. Don't shave. Ron, I've been doing a kickboxing class at the gym and I'm eager to practice on a large flabby scouse victim. Yvonne, I really think this is something for you and Gary to... Ah! Ron, I hope you find this message. I'm stuck in the past. The time portal's vanished. Tell Yvonne I'm sorry. Tell her everything. Try to explain. 